Abba Father. You're my source. You're my sustainer. My director is a channel. My business is a channel. It stopped producing because it became Abba. The ATM and the money in it was put by someone. So you stand and remove money from the ATM, but you are aware that the ATM is a channel. It's an extension of a bank. The real owner is not a machine standing there. No, the machine was put. So it, when money finishes, you are not afraid because the source is still coming back. So when someone says, okay, you are no longer working for me, you don't stand and say, so my life, am I going to die? No, 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 no. There are too many channels. The source. Are you getting the idea now? And then we approach God with reverence. With reverence. And understanding that he is Abba, but he is God. Number three, we prioritize his kingdom. That which brings honor and glory to the Father. That our lives are bent on seeing that the Christ be revealed and glorified. Give us our daily bread. I expect favor every day. Every day. Every day. Now, this is the basis of, of the confessions that we make. I truly expect favor every day. If within 24 hours or 48 hours, nobody favors me, I will talk to God about it. What happened? There are 7.2 billion people on earth. What happened to the channels? Everybody cannot be disobedient. People have four or five or six multiple streams of income and it's enough to make them billionaires. Now, there are 7.2 billion people on earth. I should have gotten to a level where I produce in season and out of season because as one person is sowing, another person should be receiving a harvest. And God, so when God says he will daily load you with benefits, it's because he studied his system and found out that there is, a, there is an endless supply. There are times you wait for rainy season and dry season, but he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water. You no longer wait for a season to determine your fruitfulness. You are planted permanently by the streams of water. Hallelujah. Please rise up, hold hands with someone, and let's pray. This is my final session with us here at this campus. And I hope that this understanding will add to our knowledge of God. That when we pray, it is important. Take your eyes this morning away from your job as your source, your business as your source. No, we're dealing with Abba here. The Lord of all creation. Psalm 24 says the earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. The walls, the systems, and all they that dwell therein. All of our requests will only need Abba to respond to us and then it comes. He will use channels. He will use a job. He will use men. He will use businesses. He will use systems and structures. But never confuse systems as your source. All blessings come from God. He is the father of all things. Your lifting this year, your expansion will not come from a physical place. It will come through a business. It will come through all of the value-adding systems and structures that you have, your businesses, etc. But let me tell you, all blessings come from God. Are we together? Two prayer points very quickly, and I speak over our lives. We're done for this morning, and we prepare for the next service. Prayer point number one. Father, grant me a revelation of your fatherhood. You are Abba. I repent from making you join the queue in my life. You are not a stream of income. You are not a destiny helper. You are more than that. You are not a business idea. 
You are not just a supporter of my destiny. You are the foundation. I come to you. Someone is praying. Abba. Abba Father Abba Father Abba Father Skalabandes Kabarushia Tahasedaba Abba Father If you are my source then I agree that this year is my year of vision and expansion if it is true that you are my source then I agree that this year I will rise in a limitless dimension the source of my anointing the source of my strength the source of my favor you will use men you will use systems but you are Abba hallelujah prayer point number two very very instructive I missed one step and I apologize I just remember the Holy Spirit just reminded me we don't have the time who art in heaven I wish I had the time to deal with that who art in heaven means I am not in your realm you will need faith to approach me who art in heaven is a revelation that you are operating from a duality of realms I reside in a dimension God does not live in eternity no in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth that means he was not in any of those spheres. you can't create what you are inside you have to be outside of it he only chose to make heaven his throne. The Bible tells us simply that he lives in a realm of light. Light. So he's saying, I am relating with you, although the Holy Spirit comes to be an extension of my presence in your atmosphere and in your life. My person, I'm domiciled, seated on a throne that is in heaven. And so you will need to understand the system that makes for interaction. There are times before, you know, phones became modern. There were times where you would send an MMS. And someone who is holding a phone, the, the phone, the device is holding may not have the system to convert what he's saying. And it will just appear as nonsense. So if you do not understand the technology of conversion, we may not be able to talk. Who art in heaven? It's an information. You need to know how God speaks. You need to know how you talk to him. For instance, God speaks to men like he's speaking to himself. God will not tell you, go and build a house. He'll say, make sure you thank me because the house is built. That's how God talks. So if you do not understand the speakings of God, he can look at you now and tell you about an assignment that you will start 10 years ago as if you will start it this evening. If you do not understand the system of the speakings of God, you will miss timings in your life. You will hear correct things, but their executions will either be too early or too late. Who art in heaven? But that's not the prayer point. The prayer point is forgive us this day. I gave you a revelation. Lord, the grace to forbear with men. The grace to be tolerant. The grace to factor in the humanity of men as we deal with. We are not much in ourselves. It is the Holy Ghost that is the advantage. He is the one who has translated us. If there is anything God worthy in us. It was brought about not by an act of our own effort. It is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Lift your voice and pray. Grace to forbear with my husband grace to forbear with my wife grace to forbear with my children we have obtained mercy and grace from God and we must sustain the fortitude to communicate the same the grace hallelujah hallelujah 
this is my final session permit me one minute to add more give me this day lord activate favor at another level in my life activate favor daily daily thank you for my monthly salary thank you for the quarterly yields that my business brings but i want to step into a realm of supplies by the spirit where it is daily this provision is captured in prayer is someone praying lift your voice and declare by the spirit hallelujah praise the lord let me just speak over your life and we're done in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i decree and declare please be sensitive just one minute i want to speak believe in what comes upon you we are made by the investments of the spirits that resides upon us by the power of the highest i stretch my hands over this auditorium and those who are watching the grace to shift you to a new dimension in the spirit receive that grace now take that grace now in the name of jesus i prophesy favor upon every one of us please listen to me in the name of jesus beginning from today step into realms of favor i release upon you the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication the anointing to pray and command your heavens and command your territory receive that grace now in the name of jesus everything that does not represent the christ in your life i stand right now in the name of jesus and i declare it departs from your life now by this time next year in the name of jesus please believe return back 10 times better financially 10 times better spiritually 10 times better in the name of jesus i multiply your influence by the spirit in the name of jesus christ hear me this year everybody who fights you goes down instantly every climate of death and disfavor every climate that does not represent the atmosphere of heaven within your family and around your vicinity in the name of jesus the son of the living god i banish that atmosphere from your life can i speak over your finances in the name of jesus i believe that the body of christ is entering into a level of supply and the reason is because of the demand please i want you to believe i know what i'm saying find a way of believing the prayer that i pray for you in the name of jesus the same way a raven brought bread for elijah at brook cherith i declare by the spirit of the living god step into a strange dimension of supplies step into a supernatural dimension of supplies i empower your businesses i empower your jobs i empower your visions your dreams your ideas in the mighty name of jesus i will multiply them they will not be few i will glorify them they will not be small may the lord bless you may the lord increase you in Jesus' name.